Their slogan is Hometown Proud, the neighborhood grocery store that caters to people, not prices. Yeah, it's the Beardstown Independent Grocers Alliance. That's what it stands for, better known as IGA. And as ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard explains, unfortunately, it will soon be known as a thing of the past. IGA has had a presence in Beardstown for more than 30 years, but as you can see from this massive going out of business sign, it's the end of an era. It also means more than 25 people will be out of a job. With every beep and jolt of the conveyor belts, employees at Beardstown's IGA are inching closer to closing time. It's, it's a hard thing. It's, it's not an easy decision. IGA owner Steve Creamer says with so many customers opting for the big boys in town, there wasn't much of a choice. You know, Walmart came to Beardstown uh, five years ago and uh, the business climate, climate for us at least has declined because of that big box store. It's, it's just uh, deteriorated to the point that it's not profitable to keep the store open. There are those shoppers who always remained loyal. Some brought close to tears at the news. They're not just your customers, uh, they're friends. And IGA isn't just your run-of-the-mill grocery store. Creamer says the prices might be higher, but the service is like no place else. Well, you're not here tomorrow, right? The staff here says they're family, and it's that family that knows you by name, greets you with a smile, and cuts your meat fresh to order every day. We still carry out groceries, uh, uh, get to talk to our customers. We know our customers one-on-one. -on -one. Customers like Craig Stevens. I go back so long with it. Actually, I was a sacker, one of the sack boys back when I was 16 or 17. We're in and out here almost daily. I have a charge account with them, and it's, just, I, it's very sad. 27 people will lose their jobs, only one or two of them being restaffed at the IGA in Mount Sterling. And as for your remaining grocery store options in Beardstown, I guess you go to Walmart or up to save a lot. That's, that's it. IGA's owner says the last day you can get your groceries here will be a week from Saturday. In Beardstown, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. We also spoke with some employees of IGA who are not happy about how the closure is being handled. They say that they were not briefed about how bad the store was doing and they were given little notice about losing their jobs. 